we're going to show you a little trick I figured out with my knock loop. Ain't nothing super special, but it is pretty handy, pretty cheap. If you're looking for a coring tool, this is a real easy way to do it. So here we're in front of the flow hood. I don't have it on so that you can hear me. This is what you would typically buy. You can get them on Amazon for eight or nine dollars. I also use my scalpel. Typically you would heat, heat sterilize these first, flame sterilize them. So you wanna start on your empty plate. You're just gonna push down, twist a little bit, pull out. You can see I got this nice little core that came out really easily. You can then just take your scalpel here and push through the bottom, drop it off. Now you would wanna again uh, flame sterilize. In this case, we've got a nice, uh, nice sample of rhizomorphic uh, growth here. That's what we're gonna grab. And just take it here and you can see I just push it down real gently, twist a little bit, pull it out. Core comes out nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and take my little scalpel here. If I can hold it steady, stick it in. Now I got it on the end of my blade. Just gonna go ahead and poke it in that little hole. Kind of push it down without putting my scalpel on top. I found that if you put your scalpel on top, it'll pull the mycelium off. So it doesn't have to sit flush, but it sits in there nicely. You can see it makes for a nice little plugged hole. And if you have rhizomorphic growth, it'll give you that nice uh, look you're trying to get. And we'll uh, include some recipes on our other videos. Thanks for watching.